We are a family of six who call the ocean our home. We feel incredibly blessed to be doing this life together as a young family, embracing the ups and downs of what is a life at sea. This is our floating home, Happy Days, and you are invited to follow along as we share this incredible adventure. Have a laugh and be inspired to pursue a life less ordinary. Click the subscribe button to keep up to date as we see where this journey takes us. In the last episode, we navigated through long lines, deal with an accident and continue on to our next port of call. We're not sure, but there's an entourage of boats just come across where we we're anchored. Later on, as we zip past in the tender, it's obvious they must be celebrating La Virgin de los Mares, the Virgin of the Seas. We arrive in Acapulco and we are in awe of the towering cliffs covered with houses, mansions, hotels and unfortunately many derelict buildings, which isn't uncommon for Central America. We anchor at La Roqueta, a much prettier anchorage than being in the city. However, there is a lot of tourist activity during the day. Our stop here is mainly to top up on all the consumables, propane, diesel and food, while we wait for some more wind. It's the first, um, probably the biggest city we've ever been to on our boat, so it's pretty overwhelming. But it's nice to be out anchored at this island, away from the hustle and bustle and just looking at it from a distance. Upon arriving, and after a wee bit of research and googling, we found out that Acapulco is in fact the, well, second deadliest city in the world. Whatever the case, we felt safe there, had no issues to report, did what we needed to do, and pushed on. Yeah, full. So this is the first, sitting at the uh, petrol station to get some diesel and uh, to get it they wanted the boat registration documents along with uh, our temporary import permit for Mexico to get diesel. So that's the first one but uh, we've been patient, he's run off to make copies, Bells is down there with the Jerry's. When in Mexico, hey, you just I don't quite understand why I need to see that for diesel, but that's okay. We've just been to the port captain, which was a mission, but we got that done. Just done a grocery run, diesel run, propane, all of that fun stuff in Acapulco. Yep. Just ran out of petrol. <laughs> We're just floating in the harbour and doing a refill. Always carry spare. Always carry spare. Uh. Alright. Yeah. Just pulled up at the Pemex. The two marine ones had big boats on them and they were. One said two hours, one said a little bit. They were aiming for 2,000 litres. 2,000 litres in a yacht, so we were just like, okay, let's just see if we can get close to one in town. Yeah. And we're here, along with the local fisherman, who's just dropping off his catch. <laughs> so, Chris is over there topping up our diesel jerrys, and then I'll probably do another run back in here soon. And get petrol too, since we just ran out. <laughs>
Of course, a trip to Acapulco wouldn't be complete without seeing the world famous cliff divers. The next leg of our journey would see us travel 180 nautical miles to Puerto Escondido. After uh, burning more diesel than we would like to admit heading down this coast, we've got breeze. Hooray! Can you hear it? The breeze? Sorry about that. Not really. We're just stuck to have it. Our destination uh, overnight and arriving tomorrow is uh, Puerto Escondido on uh, the west coast of Mexico mainland, not to be confused with the one up in the sea. And it's actually got really good waves. The anchorage is, there's an anchorage there, but Google Earth is suggesting that it's full of local punga boats, like long boats. And then it drops off really deep, and then you've got the actual waves, so. And I read another uh, sailor's post about uh, losing both his uh, normal anchor and also his stern anchor at this particular spot, so. So we'll know more tomorrow when we get there, but just believing that we'll be able to make it happen somehow. And if not, then we'll keep going. with lapping waves on the side of a yacht. Most people would sit here quietly and enjoy it, but I have background noise. So we've cracked that out because uh, Selena Cruz is of particular interest here on the west coast of Mex. And we're just trying to figure out how close we can get to it with Big Boat. It's a wee bit of an oxymoron at times trying to surf off a boat, but it can be done. These guys have just spotted the Humble Talus. No, what is it? Humble Space Station. What? What did you find? There's the Hubble telescope Hubble. and there's the International <laughs> Space Station. <laughs> Honestly, I'm really good at space stuff. And Pip has spotted the International Space Station by using our sky view. Oh, we can't even see you guys up there. But I know, but yeah, she's pretty excited. Meanwhile, um, let's check the fish. Oh, it smells good. So, this is our Benito. 
Uh, we uh, cook it like a medium rare steak. We think that's the best way to do it. A bit flamey, a bit of salt and pepper, a bit of olive oil. Uh, best way to eat bonito. Better than throwing them back, that's for sure. Motoring again. But we managed to sail most of the day, so that was amazing. I've got the moon out tonight, so you can see the moonlight behind me on the water. It's pretty special. And just uh, listening to a podcast. Sitting here with my early riser. We're watching the sun come up over here. Clouds here too. We've been motor sailing uh, since about four, so there's not quite enough wind to sail, but especially since we have a one and a half knot current, and in the night it was a two knot current against us. So, motor sailing it is. What's happening soon? My birthday. When is it? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Are you excited? Yeah. What are we going to do? I don't know, that's the thing. Where will we be? I don't know. <laughs> Does that make you excited though? Yeah. Yeah. way to Puerto Escondido. We're not sure if we'll end up anchoring there for the night. If it's not ideal we'll carry on but for now we're still trying to get there and we're gonna fly Big Red to make that happen. She looks good! Porto Escondido and all there's lots of tour pungas and they're all coming along up close to video us and give us a wave. Oh man, it would be so cool if we could find a spot. It would be. Yeah, 31 meters. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Everyone can see the awesome surf. Everyone can see the town that looks epic, but there's literally nowhere to anchor that's in reasonable depths. This guy's got a boat full of two tour guests, and he's wondering why we're turning around and not anchoring. Anyway. With depths around 30 metres just outside the mooring field, plus swell and shifting sand, we decided to put our surf dreams on hold and take her home to a safer location. We ended up adding another 30 nautical miles to our day and arrived in the dark, which is less than ideal, at Porter Angel. It was tight, but we made it work. Hooray! 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 So, limited space in this port or bay that we're in. So we've got some moored pungas but a lot of them head up on the beach and the way in which they do it is just awesome yeah. so we're like waiting. waiting patiently it's better than a movie isn't it yeah way better 
for this guy to give it give it a bit of stick. Oh, he, give him the signal. Go, mate. Go, mate. So we stopped here in Porto Angel last night just for the night, a little stop between Acapulco and um, Huatolco. So we're just about to pull anchor and start heading to Huatolco. But it's Archie's birthday, so we wanted to stop and be able to celebrate properly this morning when he woke up. But it's a really sweet little anchorage. Um, there's loads of long boats and there's not much room and there's definitely swell coming through but we've really enjoyed it even if, if it's just been for 12 hours. Wildlife out here today, Pip. Loads of manta rays, dolphins, turtles. Yeah, we nearly ran in. I know, I hope he dives deep enough. It's been awesome. Meanwhile, it's a delicious brunch that everyone's been preparing in here. Birthday brunch, hey? Yep. Papa Bear's doing some work. Yeah, food on the table. Yes. <laughs> this is super cool. You watch. Birthday present. Yeah. So we're having a beautiful sail. Doing eight knots. That says our speed through the water. However, we have a two and a half knot current against us. It was one and a half, like I literally saw the line, we went over a, a line where the water blended where this current started. So it must just rip around this headland that we're coming to. After fighting the current, we arrive at Watolko and visit the different anchorages. 
none of which are ideal, with local pangas moored there, sections netted off, or exposed to the swell. So we choose to enter Marina Char Way. It has a tight and shallow entrance, and is shallow in the marina too after an earthquake altered the seafloor. But we managed to find a suitable slip and prepare to check out of Mexico and sail to Costa Rica. Pretty nice when immigration is right next to the beach. These guys are busy passing the time, creating a huge sandcastle. Hi guys, hit subscribe and ring the bell. Head over to our Patreon page and show your support. Thanks for watching. <laughs>